Slimes can be expensive. Thumbs up if you feel me. Some of you have paid over $40 for a slime. P.S. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to be featured in these videos. What's up, beautiful people? It's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. As you guessed it, we're doing some expensive slimes today, and I don't know if I've done this before. I don't know. I can't remember if I've done an expensive Amazon slime video, and I just found some of the most expensive ones I can. A lot of these varied in prices between like $15 and $20 with shipping, uh, so I bought a ton of slime. Before we hop into it, don't forget to join the fam because whoo, we got merch. <laughs> This is my Slime Squad hoodie. We also have a brand new logo. So brand new logo shirts if you want to join the fam. I want to do something cool for you guys. I have a lot of slime events planned that I'm going to this year. So if you want to follow me on my slime Instagram and keep up with all of those. But if you wear your merch to the events, there will be like free slime for you guys. I'm figuring out the specifics. But I'll definitely let you guys know on Instagram because I want to show my love for you guys when you join the fam. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. This very first package is from Dharma Suds. So inside, everything was packaged really nicely. It came with a ton of extras, borax, instructions, and of course, the slime. So this was packaged really well. However, this looks nothing like the photo. This was supposed to be like a strawberry cheesecake inspired slime. And it was like half red and half white. And as you could see, it completely mixed together. So I just think the slime texture wasn't thick enough. It was also really, really sticky. So I think that's part of the reason it mixed together as well. I had to activate it a ton, but once I did that, the texture was actually really great. It had a really nice strawberry scent to it, and it was like a really nice thick cream cheese slime, and I really enjoyed playing with it. next package was literally a no frills package at all. It came with a slime, borax, and the instructions. The only thing that I was so confused about was it had absolutely no name anywhere on the package of what the slime shop was. And since I get so many slime packages, it gets really confusing for me. Uh, so I was finally able to find their name on my Amazon orders. Um, but this one, yeah, I would just recommend, you know, putting a logo sticker or a business card or something or just a receipt or anything that that says the business name, even a return address, something. But this slime was super, super stiff. It was overactivated and it just tore a lot. So it definitely wasn't my favorite. It was scented like chocolate. Um, and yeah, just not too much to say about this one. This next package is from Warwick USA, and this was a really well put together package, cute like labels and business cards and everything. This was just a cereal milk slime, and I really loved the texture on this one. It had a really unique texture. I definitely think a cereal milk slime could be maybe boring if it doesn't have something like spectacular about the texture, but this one was so amazing. I really enjoyed it a lot. It was like thick, but it wasn't like a glue all. I couldn't really like put my finger on what the difference was with this texture, but I really enjoyed it a lot. This one was one of my favorite packages and this was from Coco for Slime and everything came packaged really well. It came with this super realistic looking banana squishy um, and a bunch of other extras as well. I think their packaging was amazing, super professional, super cute. I love how it had a heat seal and it was just a beautiful slime. So this was a cloud slime and oh my gosh, you guys, it was so wonderful. It fluffed up really nicely, had a great drizzle to it, just a great texture. This was definitely one of those more like stiffer cloud slimes, which lead to a really steady drizzle. And personally, those are one of my favorites. So I really love this slime so much. I think it was an amazing cloud slime. Definitely worth it. Two thumbs up from me.
On to this next package from Monstrous Things. This just came with some slimes and they actually sent an extra eight ounce slime because they recognized my name, which I thought was super sweet. Um, this um, came with some candies, some borax instructions. And then this first one was the one I ordered. And this was like a peppermint twist cloud cream. And I think this one was absolutely beautiful. It was so pretty. It did have a little bit of a stiff texture, but not too much. The more I played with it, the more it kind of loosened up. And it had a very light peppermint scent to it so I really enjoyed this one I thought this one was a great slime and super 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 pretty <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so obsessed with this next slime called Berry Refresher. It is just beautiful. Look at it. It's like a purple and pink, and then the clear slime is like this deep color. It was just so satisfying for me to mix together, and it had an amazing crunchy texture. I really loved this one a lot. This had a really unique berry scent to it. It wasn't like overly fruity. It kind of reminded me maybe like of like a, the tropical Skittles or Starburst or something. I'm not sure exactly what I'm thinking up but it had just such a nice subtle um, berry scent to it and just was a really crunchy slime I loved this one and thought it was so pretty This last one was the extra they sent to me, which I thought was super sweet. And this was called Jelly Donut. And as you could see, when I stretched it, it had a red filling. I kind of had a feeling it was going to do this. And it was so cool. I absolutely loved it. It was so satisfying. And it formed this really pretty orange color. So this was a cloud slime, as you could see. And the drizzle on it, it was... It had definitely had a drizzle. It just wasn't super fluffy, if that makes sense, but still a really nice texture. I liked this one a lot and just the concept of it. It was a very soft cloud slime, no fallout. So it was just a unique texture and just really nice overall. This last package was from Sav Slimes, and this one actually took the longest to receive out of all of them. This was the one I was waiting on for this video. Um, all the rest had really fast shipping. And this was packaged really, really nicely. I will say I thought it was adorable. However, both of these slimes were very overactivated. So this first one wasn't as bad. It was like an Oreo crunch foam slime. It smelled just like Oreo. And I actually didn't mind this one at all because the foam beads really gave it a really nice bubble crunch pop, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one was just very crunchy and made good bubble pops. It was definitely just the stretchiness that was lacking on this one. As you could see it kind of tore really easy I wanted to do a few clips so you could see because like I said it does make good swirls if I was like patient and stretched it really slow and the foam beads to give it a nice pop to it um, but it did rip quite easy as you could see it was just overactivated. This last one was Cosmic Brownie, and unfortunately, it was probably my least favorite out of all of the slimes in this video. It just did not stretch at all. It just constantly ripped. I'm not really sure what happened with this one, and I gotta be honest with you guys, the texture and the color, just, you know, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I, I think this looks like. Um, so yeah, this one I just wasn't a fan of. It did have a nice brownie scent to it. Um, but the look of it and just the texture, it just wasn't very satisfying to play with and I was not a fan of this one at all. 
You guys who make it to the very end of the video are literally my life. I love you all so much. If you make it to the end, you're truly part of our slime fam. I love you guys. And these are some of you who I made it to the end of my last video. And if you want to be featured in my next video, use the hashtag merch fam in the comments down below and you can be featured. P.S. If you do buy merch, you get your merch. Take a picture. Send it to me. I'm going to be posting them in videos. And yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, you could click on over here to check out my previous videos. Definitely catch up on some vlogs. Lots more coming soon. Andy and I are working on revamping the channel. P.S. Andy's my husband. For those of you who don't know, I get questions about that a lot. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're still watching, wow, you deserve an award because I am rambling today for sure rambling. So thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time for a brand new video. Bye!